Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. So what is OAuth and why do we even have it in the first place? As a developer that's new to OAuth, it is not obvious why it's so complicated and it has so many steps. So you might be wondering, why do I have to do this whole OAuth thing? Wouldn't it be easier to just ask the user for their password? Well, it turns out that is exactly how it used to work before OAuth was around. It used to be that when you would first sign up for a new app like Yelp, the first thing it would do is ask you, hey, do you wanna see if any of your friends have already signed up to use Yelp? Well, back in 2006, social networking was just barely getting started. So where were the most connections between your friends? Your email address book. It seems unrealistic now, but what Yelp and many others would do is actually ask for your Gmail password and then go log into your email account as you. Then they would download all your contacts and send them an email. Now, this is obviously bad for many reasons, which we thankfully understand today. You would never give your email password to a random third-party application, right? If you give this third-party app your password, there is no way to limit what that app can do. It can do everything with your account that you can. But people were happily handing over their Gmail passwords to apps like Yelp and even Facebook back in the day. Yes, this is a real screenshot from Facebook from around 2010. The fact is you can't force people to stop doing these kinds of things because they actually want the end result that is promised to them and they will do whatever it takes to get there. But clearly this is not a good pattern, so instead, we need to find a solution that lets developers provide these kinds of features to users, but that doesn't actually also make them hand over their passwords to these third-party apps. So that was the original goal of OAuth. How can we let an app access a user's data without the user giving the app their password? Well, the main way OAuth keeps users secure is by having the user enter their password only in one place. So if you're logging into an app with your Google account, you would only ever enter your Google password on Google. If you're logging into an app with your Twitter account, you would only enter your password on Twitter. The idea is that instead of the app asking the user to enter their password in the app, the app instead sends the user off to the OAuth server's website and then they enter their password there. So the app says, hey user, go over there to the OAuth server, go log in there and come back here when you're done. Now, of course, this process is all automated. It's really what the user experiences is that they just click the button that says log in, they enter their password at the OAuth server and then they end up back at the app. But the key thing here is that separation where the app hands the user off to the OAuth server and waits for them to return. That's how OAuth protects users and ensures apps can't collect passwords from users. But here's where it gets interesting. OAuth was originally created for the case of protecting users from third-party applications, but it turns out it's actually useful in a lot more cases than that too. Now, it makes sense you wanna protect users from third-party apps because a service like Google obviously can't trust all the developers building apps on their platform. But what if you're an organization building your own apps on top of your own API? It turns out OAuth is actually also useful in this first party case as well. And that's why you see companies like Google going all in on OAuth. So no matter what Google product you're using, you will always sign in at the same place, Google's OAuth server. Try it, go to gmail.com and you'll see a marketing page, click sign in and then you're taken to accounts.google.com or go to youtube.com and click sign in. And again, you get taken to accounts.google.com. The same reasons that you don't want third-party apps handling users' passwords are also true here as well. By having every app send the user off to the OAuth server to log in, your whole organization gets a lot of benefits. For starters, it means you don't actually have to trust all the developer teams in your organizations to handle passwords properly. Now, I'm sure you trust your developers, but people do make mistakes, and it wouldn't be very fun to find out that one of your internal apps has been logging passwords to a text file for months by accident. By having only one place users enter their password, that gives you just one place and one team that has to manage the security around passwords. It also reduces the attack surface of your overall system. If users are entering passwords in every app, attackers have a lot of different ways to try to steal passwords. And on top of that, if you're teaching your users that it's okay to enter their password in many different looking websites, then it's actually really hard to train them to avoid phishing attacks. So this is where it all comes together and what I'm really excited about and why I think it makes sense to use OAuth for everything, even internal applications. Once you centralize the place users are logging in, that gives you just one place you need to go to add multi-factor authentication. So let's say you've been using SMS multi-factor for a while, but also you probably shouldn't. SMS is the least secure multi-factor authentication method. So let's say you wanna upgrade that to a more secure method like WebAuthn. If all of your logins are already going through the OAuth server, you can add the new type of MFA to just that one place and all your applications benefit from it instantly. That makes so much more sense to me than having to go into every single application and add the new MFA method into each one. And this is even more important with WebAuthn specifically, since the credential is tied to the domain you log in on. 
So it makes a lot of sense to centralize all your logins through your OAuth server, so there's just one place to add WebAuthn support. So let's recap what we just covered. OAuth was originally created for third-party apps so that users didn't have to give their passwords to random applications. Over time, many organizations realized that there are a lot of benefits of using OAuth even for their own first-party apps or internal apps as well. And as a business, you can get a lot of security benefits and save development time by using OAuth across all your apps, instead of relying on passwords everywhere. And this is the best way to fully take advantage of new technologies as they're coming out, including WebAuthn and passkeys. If you want to learn more, check out the website OAuth.net. I've collected a lot of resources there, including links to blog posts, videos, courses, and books that cover all sorts of topics around OAuth. I'm Aaron Parecki. Thanks so much for watching.